and I'm using that to start the show tonight to say hello to every one of you out there listening to Internet Talk with Dr. Tele or watching me wherever you may be in all over the world or in any part of the world listening or watching Internet Talk with Dr. Tele tonight. I'm welcoming you with us. Um, if you have been a radio person, if you have been the type that listen to radio, you will be able to testify to the fact that Nigeria Info is it's just, you know, different, you know, in a class of its own, bringing information to you out there, making sure that, yeah, making sure that um, you are getting the best of Im- information, the authentic one, the, right, you listen to a Nigerian info, I mean, try listening 24, you know, morning, afternoon, listen to the morning session, the afternoon session, the evening session, you see the kind of programs, the kind of informative program that is, you know, coming out of here. It's not just about, um, I mean, entertainment is good, but we need information. And I tell you, Nigeria Info is known for that. And right, I'm so proud, really. I'm always proud. I'm not just saying this because I'm here. I've been in, I've been on, I've been doing this in probably so many different um different radio stations before yeah but i tell you i love nigeria info i mean it's a good thing i i I feel very proud to be a part of this family right yeah okay so you're welcome to my show tonight you could actually join me live on dstv channel 259 on tv i noticed a lot of people actually watching on tv you know so if you are outside uh lagos or you have people you have couples who are going through issues um friends families that you think they could benefit from this show you could actually call them and tell them that they could turn their tv to dstv channel 259 to be a part of intimate talk with dr tulu and of course you could watch me live on twitter 99.3 nigeria info and of course, live on Facebook, 99.3 Nigeria Info. I will be going live on Instagram on my personal page, which is Dr. Tulu underscore the fixer. All right. So, and of course, I'm live, right? Live on your number one sport news and talk radio station, 99.3 Nigeria Info. So, everywhere you turn to, you, you need to, you will have the capacity, the ability, the the privilege to get intimate tonight all right so my name is dr tulu they call me the fixer i am in the business of building homes mending relationship and fixing sexual issues all i want to do is just is to make sure that you're happy right so i notice that when it comes to being happy i notice the impact of relationship i tell you People that are depressed, people that are suicidal, people that are anxious, people that are uh, sad. Look at all, you know, people that are having all this emotional roller coaster. Go and check the background of their problem. You will understand that it has a lot to do with the relationship between a man and a woman. It's powerful. It could make or mar you. I tell you, I say this a lot of time. The kind of relationship you find yourself could make or mar you in fact i say it that it, it could actually determine whether you're going to make heaven or not is that serious all right it could make your life it could make every aspect you, you, you know it could make you to be on top of your game and everything about you is doing well business why you know when you are in the midst of your colleagues you know you're on top of your game you know academic wise academics wise wise business why um um what do i call it every other area of your life is just doing well right because your relationship is doing well and it could actually be the other way around everything could be going south for you everything could be going wrong for you because your relationship is bad Uh, is that serious right so i understand the I, i understand that part that we are not taking so seriously in this part of the world and i understand the impact of sex in 
um, how I understand how sex determine the level of your happiness in marriage. Some of you might not want to agree with me, but that's the truth. What is is one of the in fact one of the the um, open mic that I'm going to be doing now. It's um, a very um, special one. I will want you guys to call in to make your contribution on particular on, on some particular or some controversial topics, right? So I don't know. You know, I'm going to be picking. Let me not even say that, but, but it's going to be one of recent. I mean, as soon as possible, I'm going to be talking about that particular topic. So the point is, I understand the impact of sex. How sex could determine whether you're going to be happy or not. But unfortunately for us, we neglect that part and act as if it's not there. It doesn't count. It doesn't matter. I can be happy. And then we pretend and we act like everything is fine. So because I noticed this vacuum, that's why I try to fill that, uh, fill that up for you. So that if your sex life is doing well, if your relation, you know, if, the, if your sex is the reason why your relation, if sex is the reason why your relationship is stressing you, is going bad, you could, I could do my bit to help you to fix that. That is the whole essence of, um, the whole essence of intimate talk with Dr. Tolo. All right. So tonight, um, I, I have a topic that I want to talk about. But before that, my introduction tonight, I mean, I've said a lot, right? But I, I didn't plan to say all of that. But my point tonight, I want to start by saying this. You know, this thing is, is like a cycle. You know, to every action, there's a reaction. When this happened, this will happen. When this happened. So it's like I've been saying all of this and I've been saying it all together. Most time on this show, I just talk about it, but I've decided, like, in my introduction, I'll be picking them separately. You know, I'll be breaking them down. And tonight, I want to talk about the fact that men need to understand that. I mean, I've said this severally, that your wife is no longer like your great-grandmother. In fact, she's not like your mom. So she's exposed to her right. She knows what is orgasm. She wants to come. She wants to enjoy sex. She's not having sex just for procreation. She's having sex for recreation, right? So because of that, I know that a lot of men are under pressure because of that. But the first thing I want to say tonight is, please, men, Nigerian men, I'm begging you, do not jump on your wife whenever you want to make love without putting her in the mood. Let me just leave it like that. So... I think gradually next week when I'm talking ab about when I want to talk on my about my intro I mean my introduction I will use it to p to speak about a portion of this as well instead of saying everything together you get it okay so tonight I'm just saying please do not jump on your wife when you want to make love or whenever you want to make love because you see I said this before and I'm saying it again that it takes yeah, it takes a whopping 45 minutes to put a woman in the mood for penetration. 45 minutes. In fact, how does that, does that sound to you? I know so many of us cannot even do one minute. You know, your wife will be sleeping and then you will walk up to her. You will pat her leg. You put your fingers, small, small, small. You touch the breast. Do, 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 do. You touch the. You just do, 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 do for two minutes. For, so for some people, for one minute. And then, as soon as you notice that there's small water, or small liquid coming out of the vagina, and then you penetrate. Excuse me. How do you expect that woman to look forward to sex? Inside that, she's just feeling like. Um, um, she's feeling like an animal. She's feeling like she's been used. She's feeling like she's been enslaved, even if she's not telling you. And most marriages are in this situation. How will you want to make love to a woman? 45 minutes. You can't even do five minutes. You can't even do 10 minutes. I understand there are times that you could want to, you might want to have a quickie, you know, you just want to have sex, not that you want you really want to make love. Now, when I'm talking about taking 45 minutes to put a woman in the mood, I'm talking about love making. I you know I've talked about the difference between making love and having sex on this show. But even when you still want to have sex, you still need to put her in the mood. Yeah, or except it's just a quickie that you know you just want to do something, you know, maybe 
just uh like you want to quickly do something you just want to get uh creative excited and you know spontaneous fine that is acceptable like maybe you just want to quickly be behind the door or on the wall you know leaning on the wall you just want to quickly raise a leg and just do something cool right that is acceptable but when you really want to make love even when you want to have sex like it's not a quickie or something come on you can't just pat a woman leg and penetrate this is the foundation of the sexual problem you are having I, i've been trying to say all of this voice like you guys are not getting it so that like i said that's why i'm trying to break them down so i'll be talking i won't join them together i'll be talking about them differently how can you as a man you know you see there's different between touching a woman like you are fingering a woman or you are touching her breast because you want to have sex with her now it's a mistake it's wrong for you to do that like finger 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 so that you know small more water will come out and then you penetrate touch the breast touch the breast you know maybe how many of you are even kissing maybe you are the one that kiss just shook your mouth that's what the word i will use i put your tongue you know you you are saying you are trying to get her you are doing all of that because you want to penetrate that's the reason why you are doing that that signal is wrong it's you are sending a very wrong signal now when you want to do all of that when you want to penetrate when you want to make love when you want to kiss a woman you want to touch her breast you want to finger her or whatever you want to do even if it's to put her in the mood but your your target should not be i want to put her in the mood so that i can penetrate your target should be you see this breast that i'm looking at i want to suck them i want to touch them because i love the way they feel because i love what i'm seeing i enjoy doing this you know so do you understand that it's different between i love this vagina i love to see you know i, I love to finger this vagina and see you know uh some liquid coming out of it some you know I love the feel. I love it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like a real man. It makes me feel like I love. So there's a way you savour, like you worship. You enjoy touching your wife's body. It's different from touching for penetration. Now, if you can train yourself to touch for 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 ad for adoration, if I could put it that way. Touch for admiration, okay, admiration. Touch for uh, for pleasure. Touch for enjoying it. Touch for worship. Touch because you just, I love what I'm saying. I tell you, you are going to be sending a different signal to the brain of that woman. So now this idea of jumping in a woman, patting her leg, and you know just removing her pants and some and or telling her like okay you have to be naked you know so that anytime i want to have sex with you it's no longer working your wife is not like your great grandmother she's not like your mom so you want to wake up in the night and just pat her leg and just penetrate it's not gonna work and I know some of you say, eh, did you I pay the bride price? You pay the bride price, but at the end of the day, see how bad your sex life is. It's one, This is one of the major reasons why your sex life is terrible, why you are begging her for sex, why she's not looking forward to it. Because you penetrate without taking her into consideration. You penetrate without putting her into the moon. It is not right to just pat a woman's leg and penetrate. And it is not right to just touch, touch, touch just because you want to penetrate. I just hope you get what I'm trying to say. Fix that in your sex life tonight. If you have to have sex and see the whooping difference that this is going to make. All right? So you're welcome to my show. I am Dr. Tolu, the comedy fixer. Tonight, I will be talking about orgasm an emotion it's going to be all about you tonight i want you to call me i want you to drop your messages i want to drop your comments i want to know what you feel about this topic i will explain it if I, when i come back after this short break so yes so welcome to intimate talk with dr tulu where you can always lean 
on my shoulder and nobody is going to judge you right welcome back to intimate talk with dr tolo so i'm live on instagram at dr tolo underscore the fixer dr dr tolo underscore the fixer and of course i'm live on facebook at intimate talk with tolo intimate talk with tolo on, on facebook and of course tonight i will be doing a lot of tweeting so you could tweet at me at dr tolo underscore the fixer right okay so tweet back at me and i will be opening the phone line but let me just give you the background of what i want to talk about tonight i called the topic orgasm and emotions all right so i read a very long article online uh so about uh, somebody just i mean it looks so convincing uh it is not in my place to say whether it is a yes or a no but i wish i could read it to you but there's no point i'll just explain it to you so the person said that when it comes to cheating the only time a woman cheats on her man or her husband is when she's done with that marriage when she's no longer in love with that man my first question i want to ask tonight is does true love ever die is it possible for true love to die so if a woman is married to a man that she's in love with really in love with now is there possibility of her stop loving that man and then be cheating with another man and then fall in love with that other man that is the first question so that's that article says women could easily that when a woman cheats it means that she has stopped loving the person so let me just put it the husband let, that will make it easier for us so when you have a wife that is cheating on you it means that she has stopped loving you she no longer loves you she no longer want to be with you but she just doesn't have an option that's why she's still staying with you and that article went forward to say that that kind of a woman could actually the possibility that the woman might be able or might kill the man is very very high so that so the woman is looking at the man with a lot of hatred a lot of anger a lot of i want to kill this man i don't know what i'm doing with this man so as so what this article says is as as soon as a woman start cheating on a man it means that she's no longer in love with that man and she could actually poison that man she could actually kill that man that was the analogy or the description of what the article is trying to say but it went forward to say that but it is possible for men to still be cheating you know they are married but they are cheating but they are still in love with their wife so they love their wife they don't love the woman outside but they are still cheating now of course <laughs> my opinion is uh, let me not tell you what i think you know so that i don't uh i don't um affect your opinion on this topic right because i need you to call in i need you to make your comment and tell me what you think now if a woman or a man if you are truly in love with your spouse is it possible to start cheating and stop loving that person that's a question and then is it true that women when they are cheating it means that they no longer love their husband but if when a man is cheating the man still love his wife that's a question. And then, so why I call this orgasm and emotion is a father. Now, is it possible to be able to separate orgasm from emotion? Because from this article, what he's saying is that it is very possible for a woman, for a man to be with a woman just because of orgasm. I want to have sex. And that's why I'm with you. I don't want to have. And so it's like every man. I understand that okay i mean this there's a common saying that no i normally say on this show that men need just uh a place to have sex but women need reasons to have sex so we i actually personally believe that women are more emotional when it comes to sex right 
But, so what this article is saying is that men could separate orgasm from emotion. So I'm with you because I want to ejaculate. I'm with, with you because I want to ease this pressure. I want to come. I want to have sex and I want to come. That's why I'm cheating on my wife. But women cannot say I'm cheating because I want to have sex. Women will cheat because they are in love with another person. So do you agree with this? analogy do you think this is true do you think this is our way of thinking in nigeria do you think there is anything about our background our way of life our culture or our religion that has made us to be thinking this way right you will agree with me that cheating <laughs> is becoming massive in our society so are you telling me that every man every woman that is cheating on their husband has stopped loving their husband and they have the capacity to kill that man or to kill their man why every woman uh, every man that is cheating is still in or are still in love with or is still in love with his wife and cannot hurt the wife would rather hurt the person he's sleeping with as much as possible i don't want you to be religious about it you know just be open be practical tell me your experience if you have been there before have you cheated before and the reason why you are doing it was just because you want to have sex or were you able to separate orgasm i want to have sex i'm missing sex and i just want to come can you were you able to separate orgasm from your emotion were you able to have sex without getting emotionally connected with that other party that is my question tonight so i said it's a different ball game it's a different you know open mic is there you just ask me questions about your relationship sexual or marital problem but tonight i want us to talk about this what do you think is it possible to separate orgasm from emotion is it true that every all women are no woman can separate orgasm from emotion and all men can separate orgasm from emotion i'm going to open my phone line and of course i'm going to be reading your comments on instagram let's roll tonight right so i think what we're going to do is you just walk into instagram that's all i could do tonight walk into instagram let's debate this topic um, of course, you could walk into Twitter. You could follow Nigeria Info 99.3 on Twitter. Or you could follow um, Dr. Tolu, the fixer, on Twitter. So let's see. But I'm sorry, guys. I can't pick the call. I could see that you are trying to call. And I would have really, really, really loved to listen to you because I really want to hear your opinion about this. But okay, so already I have some comments. I'll be back live on Instagram. But I already have some comment here from Daniels. Daniel Arinze says, Hi, doctor. You are doing a great job. This orgasm of a thing is killing many men gradually. Some men are dying of heart attack due to sex enhancements, which affect their hearts just to satisfy their women. Forgetting that most of these women started having sex very early, very early in their lives. And by the time they turn 20 to 25, they might have had a lot of sex with different men with different sizes how can a man satisfy such a woman men take it easy for their own good daniel for me look with you all right so daniel <laughs> fine you're entitled to your opinion but i think a lot of things are wrong with this impression of yours now the vagina is is like a balloon he has a capacity. Remember when I was talking about facts about sex? I'm using, you know, interesting facts about sex. The vagina has a capacity to expand 200%. So tell me, it, w it could, as in when aroused, when a woman is aroused, the vagina has a capacity to expand 200%. So it's just like a balloon. When you blow it, it come, when you release the hair, it comes back to its usual size so it is not it is it has not been proven for you to say because a woman have had plenty of sex or whatever that's why the vagina is so large or is so big the pelvic pl uh, pelvic floors are different i mean from women to women right so that's just by the way but another point you are trying to make is the fact that so women are highly experienced 
And then because of that, their mind are not able to satisfy them. Now, that could actually be true. Now, if you, that is where sexual compatibility comes in. And I keep telling couples, before you get married, make sure you are sexually compatible. You know, because when you go for your usual, uh, if I have to say this, when you go for your usual church counseling before you get married, you can't get to the level. I, I, I've never seen where a woman who is a sister in the church or a man who is a brother, everybody know you're a brother, and then you will come out and say, I want Anna sex. And then you would say that to your pastor, that that's one of my, that's one of my, that was one of uh, 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 the thing I love to do when having sex. Even though you know you love to do that. But you cannot say it to your pastor. So you will pretend like everything is fine. But if you are talking to a professional, you are coming for your professional primary counseling, you will be able to say like, ah, I mean, you come to my office, it's not in my place. For example, I'm using that as an example. Tell me, oh, in fact, in my form, you are going to see your preferences, the things that you love when it comes to sex. And then if I see that you, you, t you tick Anna sex and your wife or your husband say, no, I can't do this. When you come in to talk, I will let it be open to the two of you. Oh, one of you wants anal sex and the second one is not open. Do you still want to go ahead with this marriage? But if you go, I mean, this is just one instance. It could be another thing. I mean, like I used to say, sex is very deep. You can't even get to the end of it. So when sexual, compa I mean, sexual, there, there could be deeper things. There could be deeper things when it comes to sex that your partner wants that you don't want. And you are not compatible in that, in that aspect. If you have gone for professional primary counseling, you will be able to say this and this. And, and I tell you, most of the problems couples are having these days has a lot. The, high the highest percentage is about sex. But when you don't go pro for professional counseling before marriage, you have a lot of preferences. You know, you are thinking south, your, your wife or your husband is thinking north. Because you don't understand each other. And then when you get married, you start pretending, you start forming, you start dying in silence, you start regretting, you start looking for alternative, which is currently the problem on ground. You know that one of the, these are these things. These are the things I actually want to talk about. I said in my introduction, I'll be breaking them to pieces. Now, so the point is, you know, it's true. So comp sexual compatibility from what Daniel has said, sexual compatibility is very, very important. But another thing that he mentioned is the fact that men are taking a whole lot. It's true. It's true. And I'll tell you the reason why men, I, I really do understand. But I could tell you that if you tell men today now, ah, this is a powder that you can swallow. You swallow this powder, you'll be able to have sex. Everybody will start rushing it. And that's why when people call me, Dr. Tolu, please recommend something. I tell you, it is not my place to prescribe anything for you. But I just noticed that this trend, marriages are dying, and I have to start, you know, talking to people to see how I can help in this aspect, really. So, of course, uh, all right, so let me not say too much. That's, that's by the way, all right? This one says, I've also heard people say you can cheat on your wife and still love her the person you had sex with to satisfy your urge which somehow or some will be a priority in one aspect of your life or la from machine and i think that is true okay i don't want to make any comments on this topic i don't want to i don't want it to be my opinion i want it to be your opinion so um as much as possible so you can join me live on Dr. Tulu on the score the fixer, right? On Instagram. And I mean if you have listened to the intro, please drop your comments. I need you to talk. I'm sorry, uh, it's a pity. Uh, maybe we have to do this again. The phone line I, I can't pick your call. And it wasn't like that at the beginning of the show. If not, I mean if, if I've seen that probably I will have done things differently. I'm sorry, there's no point calling. I can't pick your calls. So, but just walk into Instagram and join me on Dr. Tolu underscore the fixer. Then, please, all you need to do is just send me your opinion, your thought on this topic, orgasm and emotion. Is it true that if a woman is cheating, she's no longer in love with her husband? 
and she's she's the possibility that she can kill the husband is very high and is it possible for a man to keep cheating and still be in love with his wife right i mean does true love actually die because if you love somebody you've always loved someone is it possible to stop loving that person and then be sleeping with another person and and then stop loving your husband and then just because you want to have sex and then you start sleeping with another person and then you start loving the person right so is it possible to be able to separate orgasm from emotion that's the question i need you to please join me on the on on instagram and drop your comment right i have a comment on instagram this person says that's this is from my you are denny it says both men and women are emotional it is always pretty hard for someone especially like me to have sex with someone i have no feelings for right okay so that's coming from adenia so i think this is saying that it is not always true that men could actually have sex without getting emotionally attached it is only women and when women have sex it means that they are ready to kill their husband they are ready to they have stopped loving the man so from what adeni is saying that is not looking true because he said for him he could he couldn't he won't be able to make love to a woman if he's not emotionally attached to the person right so that could say that analysis might actually not be true all right guys okay so tonight we'll be talking about orgasm and emotion and i told you that i'm just trying to find out i'm trying to get your opinion i'm trying to put my thought together put my right top together on this particular topic and i actually want to listen to you and know what you feel about it is it true that you can as a woman not cheat on you by the time you start cheating on your husband it means that you no longer love the man and as a man you can still love your wife and still be cheating right so that has been the topic tonight uh unfortunately i couldn't put this together because the phone line is disappointing me and i'm just like you know should i pick up another topic and start discussing it but it's not looking like that again tonight all right so i might want to draw the curtain of the show here and uh i'm sorry guys um i think i'm going to do this again on thursday because i want this to be as interactive as possible if i, I mean i could actually pick a topic and quickly talk about it but i don't think i want to do that tonight but okay maybe if you have any question you want to ask me all right so let's do it that way let's just let's twist the open mic if you have question you want to ask me ask me your question if it has to do with relationship it has to do with your sex life it has to do it has to do with your marriage questions that are bothering your mind that you can't talk to anyone about you could ask the fixer tonight all right so if you don't want to make comments about the topic i know a lot of people are eager i could see the way the phone line were just buzzing but unfortunately we couldn't do that tonight so if you have questions ask me and the only medium where you can ask me your question is on instagram dr tulu underscore the fixer okay let me try twitter let me try twitter so go to instagram dr tulu underscore the fixer let me just see the best i could do tonight ask me your questions right thank you for being a part of it to make talk with dr tulu it's not such an interesting word tonight but at, at least i know you enjoyed the few minutes that we're able to spend together you don't worry i'm going to redo this on thursday okay or probably pick a new topic and discuss it with you so at the end of the day i just want to make sure that your sex life is beautiful your marriage is doing well and i tend to talk i told you i'm going to be talking about some topics one is how to have a heavy vagina and i uh, will be talking about cheating we're talking about why people cheat consequences of cheating and how to stop cheating and of course i will be talking about premature ejaculation all right so those are topics that i've lined up for you you know for the next few weeks that we're going to be talking about so i saw some questions coming in people joining me on instagram now dr tolu the question is it possible to have true love making without getting married to your true love as in true partner there are 3.5 billion women in the world for one to choose from hmm. 
powerful question. All right. So is it possible to enjoy love making? It's difficult actually. It's difficult when you are not in love with someone. It's difficult to be to be able to I mean people say it's like okay so that's what we're actually trying to ask tonight. Can you separate emotion from orgasm, right? But now we are talking about marriage. This is a lifetime commitment. Is it possible for you to be married to someone you are not in love with and be able to enjoy sex with that person? Is to, it's very, very difficult. You keep struggling. You keep struggling because now, even if you are able to enjoy sex, you, will n- you can never compare it with when you make love to the person you love. Making love to someone you love, and it's a pity, part of the m- problem in marriages in this part of the world think about it like he has said there are three more than three billion people women in the world now think about it in nigeria today how many people are getting married for love how many couple do you think they were really in love and that because they love each other genuinely was the reason they got married how many i wish couples could actually call me and tell me oh i married my i know that even if i asked us to talk about that most of us will not talk would not say the truth. I wish we are like when you both people will tell you I don't love my wife. Would, do they even marry without loving? It's very difficult. But in this part of the world is the opposite. Like, yes, if he doesn't love, her, yeah, like I was trying to say, if he doesn't love her, he could say I don't love her, but we are doing well. So he, he might be able to prove it to you that I don't love my wife, but we are doing well and I care about her and I like her and we are cool like that. But if it's a Nigerian mother, you ask that kind of question, you say yeah, I love my wife with the whole of my heart, even though it is not the truth. But how many of us are getting married for love in this part of the world? You get married because you feel like you are getting too old. People are looking at you. You get married like probably because you are you have had one child or two children, and nobody wants to marry after one. You know, a lot of rules and regulations that are that are pushing people to the wall in our society. Or you get married because um, yeah, the person have money. Or you are getting married because the lady is beautiful. You are getting married because some of us is because the pastor says so. Or you go to see one prophet or one person and the person say leave the person you love. I've seen situations like that. You now leave the person you love. You say the prophet said the person you love is not good. It's the one that you don't love that is good. Imagine that. You know, when people tell me that, I, I've seen so many couples in that situation. I'm like, why did you get married? They say, it's your I say, you can't blame your pastor. You can't blame the prophet. Because God himself is not a God of confusion. Now, the marriage is now bad. It's terrible. How do you live in it? You see, it, it takes more than love to make marriage work. But I tell you, love is one of the strongest pillars that holds marriage together. If you are if you are married to the one you love, you can, you can testify to the father. Maybe if you have been the type that have been able to experience two marriages or two relationships, one you love and the other you don't love, you'll be able to say that mar- being married to someone you don't love is like being in jail. Really. All right? So, it is possible. But, like, it is possible to find true love. If you make up your mind to find it. So, out of the more than 3 billion women, it is possible to find the one you love. And you find, you find the one you love. The truth of the matter is the love making will be deeper that's the truth it will be more intense all right okay uh okay this one says um sex to man is not the same as sex to woman men can have sex with a woman without loving her but women will not give sex to a man without love is it true that's the question so stephen says it is not possible stephen oluwamuyiwa says it is not possible for a woman to have sex to give a man sex so every woman who are not enjoying sex in their marriages and are sleeping with men outside it is they are falling in love with those men outside that's what i could say from what Uluwamu you are saying and then this one says israel israel says people are different some cannot make love to just any woman and to some it's a normal thing that's why you find some women going into prostitution and all of that okay that's another thing i have not thought about that the women that are going into prostitution are they in love with the people they are sleeping with they sleep with them for money so it means i mean that's a very good example of women separating orgasm from emotion actually all right but israel sales is possible for people are different so for some people 
it it is possible to have sex with anything in skirt or anybody but to some men they can never have sex with just any woman right okay all right okay so that is all i will be able to take on tonight's episode of vitime talk with the talk solo thank you guys for being a part of the show i really appreciate your patience and i'm very sorry to those of you that have been trying to call me and you are not able to on thursday i think i t- I, I might be repeating this particular topic yes i have to because i want to put the statistics together right thank you guys for being a part of the show and i'm going to see you on thursday sorry that you couldn't call me make sure you have a suck sex full night right i love you guys thank you to enjoy more of this our will get videos when you just watch press this button to subscribe on top of our youtube page you go love her